let's consider this program here and if we consider the first line we can see we have this identifier string underscore one and we're assigning it this particular string here and it's a one character string now as an aside in Python those of you who have come from other languages there isn't a character type in Python you have a string of length one as you can see here and then we're simply printing what's stored in uh, string one and on this line you can see we're creating another string string two and that's been assigned string one and this is the replicator operator and it's been replicated twice you will have seen this operator before when you were dealing with floats and integers and you would have known that this was a multiplication in this context however it's called the replicator because what it's going to do is going to give us two copies of what's in string one and store that in string two and then of course we're going to be printing string two to the screen if we look here we've got string three is being assigned string underscore one replicated three times and then of course we print out what's stored in string three so if we have a look at the runtime for this we can see it's here so we assign a one character string to string one then we print it and of course we just get this output on this line you can see we're replicating string one and we're storing it in string two and this line is printing it out and here you can see we're taking string one we're replicating it three times and that's been assigned to string three and here of course we're printing string three so you can see we get three of these at symbols out of the program printed to the screen if you now have a look at this computer program here it's almost the same as the one we've just observed however if you look at this line here you can see I've made the literal string HA so when the program now runs and we come to here we print string one we print out the H and the A and on this line you can see we're actually taking the content of string one and replicating it twice and assigning that to string two printing string two and you can see it's ha ha on this particular line and if you come here we can see we're taking string one and we're replicating it three times storing the results in string underscore three and obviously then printing it to the uh, screen and you can see here you go ha 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 let's now consider this computer program here we can see the first line is string underscore one is assigned qwerty then we print string underscore one and on this line you can see that string two is assigned string one replicated by two and then we print string two so we get this output and of course this line produces qwerty and this line produces qwerty qwerty because it's been replicated twice so we have qwerty twice as you can see here now the space is between them because you can see here there's a space after the y if we now have a look at this computer program it's almost the same as the one we've just looked at it's this line that has been altered and if you look on this line you can see it's a string one replicated twice whereas down here we have two replicating string one so in other words the string one and the two have been swapped around and if we have a look at the output it is exactly the same so in other words it doesn't matter if you do it like this or do it like this the order of the way in which you replicate doesn't matter you can have the number first as in this example and you can have the number second as in this example let's now consider this computer program here if we look at the first line string underscore one is assigned and it's assigned the at symbol now if we look what follows the first line we've got this iteration construct and of course it uses the range function that we've seen before now I'm not going to go on about in great depth what this range function does go back to the previous videos in the playlist to get a grip on what this will do for you but very briefly it starts off producing a number from one in steps of one and it stops before it gets to eleven which means it produces one two three four five all the way up to ten now this here takes up the value of one two three four all the way up to the ten 
when it goes into the loop in turn so the first time it goes into the loop this is one the second time we go into the loop this is two and the third time we're going it's three and so on so when we go into the loop the first time and we execute this line then string underscore replicated will be assigned what's in string one replicated by the replicator which will be one and then we print it we then go into the loop again and of course replicator is now two so this will be two so we're going to get two lots of string one then we print it then we go into the loop again and of course replicator will now be three so this is three so it replicates string one three times and stores it in string replicated and then we print it now it won't take much imagination to realize that what we're going to have at the output is this you can see this was printed the first time round this was printed the second time round the loop this was printed the third time round the loop and this here was printed the tenth time round the loop let's have a look at this program it's more or less the same as the previous one in terms of the first line we're assigning to string underscore one this at symbol what we've altered is the range function here and you can see this starts at 10 it goes down in steps of minus one and it stops before it gets to the zero so what this range function produces is 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so the first time we go into the loop this value here is a 10 so on this line we replicate string one 10 times and then we print the replicated value then we go into the loop again and the replicator here is nine so here we are replicating string one nine times storing the result in string replicated and then printing it so if we were to run this program this is what we would see so this is what we get the first time round the loop we get 10 lots of string one then we get nine lots then we get eight lots and finally the last time through the loop when the replicated is one we get one lot of the string printed out as you can see here if we now go on and have a look at this one what we're doing here is just replacing string one with qwerty and a space following the y and we're using the same range so the first time round this loop the replicated is going to be 10 the second time is going to be 9 the third time it's going to be 8 so we should get this output here and you can see the first line gives us 10 lots of qwerty and the last line gives us one lot of qwerty check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the youtube channel and get an automatic update every time i upload a new video also consider subscribing to the google plus circle that relates to these videos